me junkies how are you i hope you're having a lovely holiday season i wanted to share with you three tips that i thought would be very beneficial in helping to align with meeting up with your soulmate so i've had such an outpouring of comments and questions and people wanting me my subscribers you guys wanting me to explain more in detail about how to manifest your soulmate because I know there's been so many times people have asked me, how did you manifest your soulmate within two months? Because it seems like some of you guys have met your soulmate or you know of your soulmate, but you're just not able to connect with them right now. There's a lot of barriers in between. Maybe your soulmate is married and you're not, or um, they live in another place, another country. Um, it just seems like maybe you're kind of like ebbing and flowing right now with, with not being able to be with your soulmate at this particular moment. And I wanted to share, like I said, a three, at least three things. And so I'll kind of go into those things a little bit more in depth. And I did speak of these things before, and I'm sure you guys have seen these on my other videos. But um, I wanted to like go into a little bit more detail so that you would it would help you to figure out what your job, so to speak, your job to do is to get into alignment so that you can be prepared for meeting up with your soulmate. So the number one thing that I think that was really instrumental in me manifesting my soulmate in two months was because like I said, you guys know that I had already been married. I was married, um, when I met my soulmate. I mean, I was in the process of getting a divorce. So that was, I mean, so if you look at it on paper, it's kind of an interesting mm -hmm. situation. And what I mean by that is I was aligning with my own soul. And so to go into a little bit more detail about my particular previous marriage, because I was married. Like I said, I've said this on videos before. I was married previously. I have four grown adult children, and I was married to my previous husband for 24 years. And so at that time, I had been, we had been having struggles in our marriage, and I don't think that he was um, noticed how disgruntled and how deeply affected I was by the pain and the anguish that I had been dealing with in my marriage because I was kind of like, to be quite frank, I was very um, secretive about how I really, really felt in my marriage for a very, very long time. And if you see some of my previous videos on my channel um, with my previous husband, you can kind of sense that there's a little um, sense of, um, there's a little bit of passive aggressiveness. And and for those of you that know me probably could see that and understand that. And maybe like, even though I verbally didn't say anything, you could kind of feel that maybe on video. And so I had been talking to um, one of my girlfriends probably for nine or 10 months when I lived in California about how I thought that I really was ready to end my marriage. And so this obviously came as a huge shock and like completely out of nowhere for my, my ex-husband. But I know internally that I had secretly kept all of those real deep internal feelings to myself. And like I said, I was working on mating with my own soul. And so that is what I would really encourage you each to do because if you haven't mated with your own soul, like you need to be complete and whole within yourself before you can expect to find your soulmate because there may be over there trying to get things taken care of on their end of things and you need to work on mating with your own soul and being complete and content and happy within your own your own self you know you need to have you know self love and and respect and and really work on the areas in your life that you really feel that that are needful for you to become a complete and whole person on your own before you can align with someone else because 
so many times in life, and, and you've probably noticed this, this is another thing that you will notice that you're not ready to meet with your soulmate, is that if you feel that there is a part of you that you need someone, like, I want to be with that soulmate, but you're not completely um, connected within your own self, you're going to, you might meet up with them, but it's going to dissolve, even if it is your soulmate, because you both are not completely aligned within yourselves first. And, um, and I think that that's one of the big things for me is that I was not expecting to ever meet my soulmate. Like I said, I was expecting maybe, you know, three years down the road after I had been divorced and I was completely healed and I was going through all of the, you know, um, transforming into my better self, you know, on my own without a person, you know, without a marriage partner. And so I think that that's why my soulmate came into my life because I I had no idea that I was planning to see or meet up with my soulmate. I was thinking, yeah, I was going to, but it was going to be in the future somewhere. I wasn't expecting it. And even when I began talking with, with Jeffrey, um, just he was just a friend, you know, and it wasn't anything any of in, inappropriate. And I was just, I mean, I was actually planning on moving to California by myself. I wanted to move back to California after we had moved to Oklahoma. And I was like, you know what? I'm packing up. I am moving. I am doing this. And I think that people didn't understand, like, the seriousness of how unhappy I was. And like I said, you know, I was unhappy in more ways than just my marriage. You know, I was completely unfulfilled for a really, really long time. And I think that that's what happens to so many marriages. You know, we're very, we're, we're using this other person to complete us or, you know, have you ever heard that, you know, my, that's my ball and chain, that's my rock, that's my, you know, this person completes me, you know, and, and, and you need to be complete on, you know, yourself. And so if that's the one big tip that I can say is that, you know, align with your soul, align with your spirit and become connected completely within yourself. And here's, here's a big tip that you will know when you are ready to meet your soulmate. One of them, number two will be, sorry, so that was number one, uh, you know, mate with your own soul. Number two is if you can honestly say that you do not need anyone in your life and you do not, I mean, yeah, you might want to date and you might want to, you know, have, you know, relationships and, and meet people and, and, you know, look for your soulmate. But when you're completely content with not having that other person in your life, like there's no resistance to that resistance in your life as far as that, um, emotional need to have someone there with you, you know, to have, you know, um, companionship with and all that. If you're completely um, content being on your own and where you are in your life, that's the other thing. Be in the moment and be completely content and happy with where you are right now. You know, if you're single and you haven't met your soulmate, be happy in that moment because it's always like, um, that's the biggest thing for law of attraction is that you ask, then you believe and then you will receive your soulmate. It's not the other way around. Most people are like, okay, I'll believe it when I see my soulmate. Do you see what I'm saying? But you need to believe it like it's actually going to happen. And then number three is the, the third one would be to continually do focus wheels and meditate because those are the other, those are the other two things that I really did um, and just becoming aligned with my spirit and aligned with trusting the universe is going to bring you um, your soulmate at the perfect, perfect timing. And so I hope those three things helped you. I hope you're having a beautiful holiday season. If you guys are lonely and you're sad or you know, you're not having that great of a time or you're not with your soulmate and you're disgruntled about that a little bit, try to be happy in the moment. Be happy and know that you are going to have your soulmate in your life. 
And if you can do that, I promise you they will come a hundred times faster once you align with your own soul. And as always, I'm yours into my next swim. Ciao!